The process of ordering a custom pen, picking out materials, working with the pen maker to, to nail down the design, and even waiting for the pen to arrive in your inbox can be a lot of fun. And it's something I recommend if you've never done it before. But when it comes to reviewing fountain pens, custom pens can be a little tricky because you're not reviewing the design or the materials. Instead, you have to focus on the quality of the craftsmanship. And so that's what we're going to be doing in today's review of the J&J Wood Designs custom pen. Hello everyone, welcome to The Pen Habit. I'm Matt Armstrong and I'm glad to have you back for another pen review. Now, I told you back at the beginning of season three that this was going to be the season of custom pens. And unfortunately, I haven't been able to do as many custom pens as I would like. I love, I love custom pens. I, I've ordered a couple, I've reviewed a couple, um, and I'm excited to do another one from a pen maker I had never heard of before he contacted me about this pen. Today's pen is the J and J Wood Designs custom pen. There is no model that it's associated with because it is an entirely custom creation. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about it. So J and J Wood Designs is run by a gentleman named Jeff Johnson. And Jeff uh, contacted me back last fall and said, hey, I'd like to make a pen for you. Uh, you can basically pick the design you want, whatever, and, and I'll just make it and send it to you for review purposes. And I said, great. I can't keep it though. So uh, I'll design it, you can build it, but I'm going to give it away. And this is one of the pens that I'm going to be giving away at a, the, it, later on at the season. The very end of the season, I'm going to be doing a big kind of season blowout giveaway of everything that's left to give away in one big fell swoop. So um, that will be coming up. But in any case, this is a pen that will be given away. I do want to bring up that he sent it to me free of charge, though, so I did not pay for this pen. Uh, all opinions expressed herein are my own, and no further compensation was provided, as I always have to say for my videos. Okay, so let's get back into the pen. As I said in my intro, when it comes to pen design, you can't really talk about the design because it's custom on a per-person basis. Instead, what you can do is talk about the way a pen is put together. Um, I will talk a little bit about this design because I want to talk about what I asked for and, and the ordering process. So to start off with, he said, tell me what you want. So I, what I kind of did is I said, well, I know what material I want. So I went and found the material and sent him a link to that. And I said, here's some design inspiration. I, I like the Delta Vintage, which is a flat-topped pen, it's, but it's very small. It's too small for me. So I'd like something that is kind of similar, but that is longer, is larger. You know, I said, um, you can pick additional materials. I don't need the post to be, the cap to be postable, um, and, but I want the pen to be long enough that I can hold it in my hand without it without having to post it. I, I like pens that I don't have to post. Um, I also said I like longer sections that are concave, and so he did all of those things for me. Now, Jeff doesn't have models on his, well, he doesn't have a, a website, a standard website. He's got an eBay store and will occasionally sell his pens on eBay. He'll just make a pen of his own design and put it up on eBay with no, no reserve. So you can get a pen from him that way. Or you can work with him and really, in, in his case, the sky's the limit. He doesn't often start from any sort of custom model or anything like that. But he'll look at, you know, other design inspirations and come up with a design with you that works. And he was really great to work with. Yeah, good communication. He let me know when the pen was going to be shipped and it arrived. And I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with the quality of workmanship on this pen. It's really quite nice. So I will go over the design just a little bit. Um, you've got this material up here, which is this kind of metallic silver, and then the in interior of the material is this, this black here. Um, I can't tell if this is inset or if it's part of the same material, um, but it's really, I think, quite attractive. Nice flat top with the silver, which is meant to pick up some of the silver highlights in this material down here. Now the rest of the cap is made and the barrel are made up of a, a lava 
lamp aluminite called mineral ore. I believe it's number 30, or it's copper ore, not mineral ore. I think it's copper ore, um, number 30. So you've got these reddish coppery and golds and silvers. It's really a rich, beautiful material. Um, I like this a lot. It, it reminds me of what my hair would look like if I still had it and it were going gray. <laughs> because this was about the color my hair used to be. Uh, then he's got some nice brass, uh, a brass ring in here to match the brass clip. The clip attaches internally and is moderately stiff. It's not super flimsy, but it's not the, the tightest clip in the world. It does kind of pivot though, so if you wanted to, you know, press down on the clip a little bit to fit it into a shirt pocket, you could. And then you've got another band of the same silver uh, acrylic that you've got up on the finial here. Uh, now, I actually really like using a finial in a different color because it's so difficult to get the material of the cap to match up with the material of the finial. And in this particular case, I think that was a good choice. I will also say, if I were to close my eyes and run my fingers over this, I couldn't tell that there was a join. It is that that tight and that smooth. And the transition to that the black is really quite... If, if this is an inset, it really is quite seamless there. The pen is almost perfectly cylindrical going down. And then there is another inset of this black material on the end here. And I know that this is an insert because I know that's not what the interior of the Illumilite looks like. But... I'm not kidding you, it's nigh unto impossible to, to see, even see the seam, let alone feel it. Uh, really, really high quality work there. Um, the cap does come off on one, two, three, almost four turns, which is a little much for me. I've talked about that before. Um, that's something that I'm sure if you said, hey, I'd prefer this to only come off on one or one and a half to two turns, that's something that he could do in the manufacturing. Um, the threads are very tight, very, very tight, n almost no slack. Um, and especially that last, you know, half a turn or so, that really ratchets the pen down nicely. As I said, when I was talking about my design request, it's a nice long section, concave. Um, you know, I said I'd love the section to be about between 11 and 12 millimeters in width, you know, in the middle of the section, and it is uh, really quite a lovely section there. And then it uses a Yovo steel nib, which is, you know, kind of unadorned aside from the traditional scrolling, and I got a medium. The pen can be used, uh, well, it's a standard international cartridge or converter pen, uh, comes with a Schmidt style converter, and then... Um, can be used as an eyedropper if you wanted to as well. And these threads are also very smooth and uh, quite lovely. Very comfortable in the hand. This material just does it for me, especially this little section here, this the silver uh, chatoyance in there. Oh, just, I love this material. It you know, feels like what you'd see if you went down into the middle of the earth where the, all the, the magma uh, just... Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. So let's do some comparisons here, which again is a little silly because this is a custom pen. If you want something different, you just order it different. But since this is a pen I am going to be doing as part of the giveaway, I'll, I'll give you some examples so you can see what you've got to compare it to. So this is a smaller pen. It's not, you know, it's not a huge one. There's the Mont Blanc 149, or excuse me, the, the Pelican M1000 and the Mont Blanc 149. I'd say this is, uh, it's shorter even than the the Pelican M800, uh, but, you know, about the same girth, and then you've got the Mont Blanc 149 here. Now, as I said, this is a slightly shorter pen. You've got 136.2 millimeters with it capped, and uncapped, only 128 millimeters. Now, this pen does not post. Um, if I had really wanted it to post, I'm sure Jeff could have tapered this barrel down to make it postable. Um, I didn't really care one way or the other since I don't post my pens, but in the hand, it's long enough. I don't feel the need to post it at all in my hand. Uh, you've got 10.4 millimeters, which is just a touch narrower, uh, than I was hoping for with the grip, but still quite comfortable. Um, 14 millimeters is the widest point of the barrel and 15.3 millimeters is the widest point of the cap. And then in terms of weight, it is... 23 grams if it's capped 
or only 13 grams if it's uncapped. So the cap itself is 10 grams. So that is, in general, the J&J Wood Designs custom pen made for me, or really for you guys, since this will be a giveaway. Have I said that a few times? This pen is getting given away. Y'all realize how lucky you are? That's crazy. I'm crazy. I should be keeping this pen. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and do a little bit of writing, and I'll show you how this thing writes. So we have the J and J. It's a steel nib. It's a Yovo nib. And it is in medium. And the ink is private reserve. Avocado. All right, here is the quote. Okay, so overall, it's a Yovo nib. I, I, you hear me say this a lot because Yovo, you know, when when you consolidate nib makers, uh, you do get a lot of similarities between the nibs. Um, it's a Yovo nib, so it's not going to be anything in particularly special, especially the Yovo steel nibs, because so many people use them. But because so many people use them. They're good nibs. I mean, I don't, I don't mean to disparage them at all because they really are quite nice nibs. Um, they're just not, you're not going to get anything particularly unusual from them. Now, I will say that this nib is probably the, has more feedback than I have experienced on most Yovo nibs. I put this at about a four and a half to a five on my scale. So it's right in the middle. It's got almost a, a Sharpie or a felt tipped marker consistency writing on the paper. Um, you know, if you wanted it smooth, because it's a custom pen, I'm sure that uh, he would be able to smooth it for you. Jeff would be able to smooth it for you. Um, and and likewise, with this pen as the giveaway pen, if you want me to smooth it before I send it to you, I could certainly do that. Um, but if you like something with more feedback, it, it comes with a, a nice, decent bit of feedback. This very pleasant. It's not unpleasant at all. It's just uh, it's not going to be that glossy, smooth thing that you might get otherwise. Um, Really nice performance uh, and consistent performance of the nib. No problems with ink flow or star ink starvation, any of that kind of thing. Um, so, you know, again, very moderate ink flow, which is pretty standard for most Yovo nibs. You're not going to get a ton of ink, um, but you get enough to, to make it worth your while. Uh, then no real line variation of which to speak. But, you know, a little bit of extra ink flow if you do push down on the nib a touch, uh, which is nice. Reverse writing. Reverse writing. Writes, it's a touch scratchy for me. Um, very dry, as most reverse writing is. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a really nice pen. It's quite comfortable in the hand. I was able to handwrite the review in a single session, which is like six pages, which is probably the longest I can stand to sit down and write, you know, full A4 pages, every line, margin to margin. I can't, I can't stand to sit down and write much longer than that. I'm too antsy. Um, but this kept up with me the whole time and really did a nice job. I've gotten quite a few compliments from the pen. Uh, back when I was still working, I had this pen and I'd take it to work with me every now and again and people would comment on it. Really attractive material and nice design. But the thing that makes this pen really interesting to me is just the construction quality. And, and that construction quality, I, I tie directly into this finial. It's hard to see here because I can't get my camera to focus. But that, the join 
on this material is just, that little inlay is just perfect. Something that he didn't need to do. You know, it was entirely unnecessary to do that, but I really like the way it turned out. So this is the J&J Cust- Wood Designs custom pen. Now, I will have a link. I always forget which side of me is, <laughs> is the right side. I'll have a link to uh, his, his eBay store here um, and in the show notes, also in the, uh, the blog post with the additional photos that I have on penhabit.com. Uh, Jeff's designs start at around $150, and depending on what materials you pick or what designs you guys come up with, any additional you know, fiddly things you want added in, that price could go up. Um, So 150 is kind of the starting point. Uh, With a steel nib, you can get gold nibs or titanium nibs perhaps, or, uh, you know, he will work with you to get that. Now, the one thing, you know, I... I've really enjoyed working with Jeff. His communication is great. I wish he had a website because I think... If, if he had a, a true website, not necessarily that showed the models, but talked about the ordering process and gave a basic price list and most importantly showed pictures of what he's done before, um, I think he would be a lot more well-known in the custom pen circles because the quality of his work is just as high uh, so far as I've been able to see of any of the other custom pen makers that I've had a chance of working with so far. Um, and, uh, and I think he should probably be better known than he is based on the quality of, of this one pen that I've had a chance to play around with. So you can find, you can get in touch with him through his Facebook page. Uh, if you go to J, if you search for J and J Wood Designs, uh, and, or go to the link for his eBay page. And as I mentioned, he does occasionally list, he'll just make a pen of his own and put it up on eBay with no reserve. So if you're lucky, you might be able to get a really good deal on a custom pen. Now it won't be a custom pen you design necessarily, but uh, but you know it will be made quite well. So that is my review of the J&J Wood Designs custom pen. Thank you. Huge thanks to Jeff for sending this over for review and giveaway. I really do appreciate it. Stay tuned for the end of May, which is the coming upcoming end of the season three, where we will have a giveaway. This will be one of the pens that goes in that giveaway, um, along with some of the other stuff that I've talked about doing giveaways for recently. So should be pretty exciting. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you here next time on The Pen Habit. Bye.